evening, everyone, and welcome to Providence, Rhode Island. Another chilly night. We hit mid-February and the regular season winding down in Hockey East. Tonight, Providence starting a stretch of their final seven games against the first place team in Hockey East, Boston University. They each have 23 goals on the year. Offensive zone. This is Shimmick. Bennett takes it deep, rubbed out. Gets it back, a shot here, score! Well, it's the hero from Saturday night, Guillaume Richard, let it go. And it finds the back of the net, and the Friars are off and running tonight in Providence. And for the Friars, you got to jump on these loose pucks quick and make something happen. And the Friars do a great job here sticking with the puck. And you see that feed out to Guillaume Richard, and it looks like it could have even been a little bit of a tip there off Riley Duran. Chase Yoder certainly in that action as well. And you can see here you know, the, the drive around the net by Bennett Schimmick, and you're going to see Riley Duran there in front of the net. I do think it goes off Riley Duran, but a great look there by Guillaume Richard to get the Friars on the board early. It looked like it might have got a piece of Yoder's stick and then caromed off of Duran and into the net. Duran comes back to Chris. Now to Shimmick. And a good stick out high. Zabine is going to break shorthanded. Zabine is in. A backhander score. Shorthanded goal by Nick Zabine. Ties the game in one. And Mike, pretty nice stick work there. At reading and anticipating that blue liner pass and you can see he knocks this puck out of the air and then just drives and hustles to create his own loose puck race like he's all alone with fed back finishes this one to tie it up a shorthanded goal for Zabine. Friars haven't won in Aganis since 2018. Mentioned they haven't won here since 2019. Loose puck in front score. PU takes advantage of some sloppy play in the defensive zone and Sam Stevens, the grad student with his seventh of the year, gives the Terriers their first lead. Well, we've seen the Terriers with some really great passing work here and Jack Harvey does a great job of finding this puck, delivering it through traffic to find Sam Stevens with not a lot of time or space here, Mike. But great feed, great read here by Sam Stevens. You see him, he sees Sam open, but Terriers are gonna get the lead here on the Friars, 2-1 here in the second. I got Guillaume in deep. Terriers have done a good job collapsing on Providence on the first power play. Now Malinowski, nice job protecting the puck. Goes down low, center, feed score! Tanner Adams on the power play, second of the year, sixth overall, and we're even at two. And this was a huge goal for the Friars to capitalize on the power play early on here. You can see nice feed here, Tanner Adams. I think it was Graham Gamash that fed that beautiful pass to Tanner Adams. And Tanner Adams does just a great job of getting himself in prime scoring area. Doesn't even have to stick handle that one, Mike. All three freshmen and Sonny Malinowski made the play along the wall, protected the puck, got it to Gabash, who found Adams, and that is going to do it in the second. So it'll be a 2-2 hockey game into the final 20 minutes. So important part of this game, 2-2, 6-28 to go. And the Terriers' first power play of the game. They have 29 power play goals on the year. Celebrini's got eight, Lane Hudson has six. So those two players have almost half of the Terrier power plays so far as Hudson has it out high, works it down low, shot blocked, and Providence will clear it out to the neutral zone, play it back into their own zone, and BU's gonna be content to take this thing to overtime. So it looks like 60 minutes will not be enough tonight. As the horn will sound, each team will get a point. And now it's the battle for the extra point as we head to overtime. And now Peterson with speed. Headman Zabine, Zabine to the net. A stick save by Svedback. Offensive opportunity yet. And now Duran loses the puck. Here's Zabine down low. Shot saved by Svedback on Peterson. 
Yoder on the puck in the corner, banging around, and we are going to head to a shootout. So this will end officially as a 2-2 tie. Celebrini arguing that Yoder covered the puck. So it'll be a 2-2 tie. Everybody up at Schneider. Here comes Malinowski to win it in the shootout. Hudson takes it wide, holding, score! Hudson Malinowski gives the Friars the additional point. They take two of the three here tonight. And Phillips fed back, did his job, and Providence picks up the extra point.